the girls had to have their Starbucks. Um, and we are 210 East, gonna get on the 15 North. And Lava Goose is somewhere behind us. But she's pretty proud of that two liter turbo. She'll be zipping up behind us here in no time. But like I mentioned earlier, today's her birthday. She wanted to go uh, do a quick little camping overnight. So we decided to go do some camping up in the desert, which will be nice. But I'm a little concerned because the wind is looking like it might have gusts up to 20, 22 miles an hour. And just on the 15 here, it's, uh, or I guess we're on the 210 right now. Um, and by the way, that's not Mama Goose, as you guys know, that's Brian. Say hi, Bri. Hi, Bri. Man, I'm not even sure how this video is going to turn out. Look at how bad it's blowing right now. Take some video here. But uh, we're just getting on the 15 right now, and I'm hoping it's not going to be too windy up there. Oh, hey, there's a CHP uh, shooting people, so slow down, Mama Goose. Oh my god. Well, not shooting people but his little radar deal. In any case, uh, pretty windy pretty windy right now. Mama Goose's birthday, gotta do some camping. I think I can catch you guys up on pretty much everything there is to know. And of course we got Sierra at the back who's very excited to go camping again, but we'll catch you guys up there in just a little bit. way 15 north and Mama Goose just disappeared. She took off like a bandit and uh, she radioed me about 10 minutes ago and said that she slowed way down and she still can't see me in the rear view mirror. That's how far and fast she went. So we'll catch up to her in a little bit. Hopefully uh, they're still ahead of us, but who knows? I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, and it ain't that long, till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck, down at the dock, it's time to do some cruising, baby, get a little stuck, it's a Saturday joyride. ride. Exploring these canyons over here and look at how beautiful they are. This is great. Sierra's happy to be out of the Jeep and running around. And Mama Goose is busy exploring on her birthday. <laughs> and there's Bronson in Brooklyn. Come here. Come here. Whoa. 
Whoa! Come on! Nice and slow. Good girl. Go get Brianna. Go get Itzy. Got the camp. We're just gonna figure out where everybody's gonna go and get everything all uh, opened up and set up. Not a bad place to camp, if you ask me. Where are you gonna go, Mama Goose? I think I'm gonna go behind you. Is that a birthday crown? Yes. <laughs> all right, go ahead and pull behind me. All right, so check out the new awning we got. The uh, OVS Overland Vehicle Systems awning which doesn't need the legs and it was just windy a little bit i didn't worry about it flipping over like you would with the uh, bat wing and you got all these aluminum arms a nice thick aluminum base that it all mounts to if we're just going to chill here for lunch i just leave it like this but since we're staying here i'm going to drop the legs and i'm going to add the walls not that we need them but because i just got this i want to test everything out and give you guys a decent review of it so I'm gonna add the walls next and I'll show you guys how much room's on the inside. All right, so we got the uh, awning and the walls all up and as you can tell, it is definitely excessive, especially for just an overnight. Um, but more than anything, I just wanted to put it up and show you guys the product and went together pretty quick, probably about 10, 15 minutes with the walls, but uh, Gives you a lot of real estate inside there in case it starts to get real windy or rainy. You could imagine if it's really bad outside, there is plenty of room in here for everybody to grab a seat, grab a chair, and be out of the elements. So I did my chores, and as you can see, Billy's got his gazelle tent up, and he got that up within a minute. I'm a little jealous, and you can see our tent is... Where's our tent? Oh, those girls haven't put it up yet. They're taking a load off. And Sierra needs a break. She still needs to eat breakfast. And she's probably thirsty, huh, Mama? Huh? Why do you keep getting closer to me, huh? Go get Mama. Now, the only problem I have tonight with this, uh, the walls is it's supposed to start getting really windy, which I just finished telling you that that's what this would be good for. The problem is all this dirt, it's not dirt. This is just a bunch of sand and the stakes are gonna pull out. Uh, as you can see this one here, it's already starting to pull out. So don't be surprised if in the next video segment, I have this torn back down. But we're gonna get the tent set up, maybe have a beer or two and Start relaxing. We'll catch up with you guys in a little bit.
All right, guys, so tonight what we're gonna do is something a little bit different for Mama Goose's birthday. We're gonna be doing some shrimp and some uh, chopped up, uh, cut up sausages with some corn, some veggies, kind of making like a stir fry. So what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna start preparing all the veggies and get those cooked up and softened, which is just gonna be asparagus and some squash and some tomato. So, and I need a sous chef. Sous chef. Is washing his hands. Sous chef. Sous chef. Sous chef. Trash. Trash. Asparagus is cut up. And let's move on to the squash. <laughs> and behind me, uh, we've been looking at some longhorn sheep, I believe, up on the ridge, which is a pretty cool sight. Didn't expect to see that, but. Billy saw it a little bit earlier. He thought it was a person staring down at us. And then we got the binoculars and sure enough, some longhorn sheep. Not sure how this is gonna turn out. This is a brand new, I hate to even say recipe because we're just kind of throwing everything together here. All right, so veggies are going on. Bree's getting me a spatula. Got my sous chef here to my side. You're doing a great job, sous chef. Right. A little salt, pepper, and some garlic salt. Mm, that looks good. And the colors out here are just amazing right now. <laughs> Apparently my sous chef brought me my drink at some point. And you're yep. complaining? My other sous chef. I got <laughs> two I got I have two sous chefs right now. You have a complaining? Sous sous chef. Alright, so we're gonna add some old base seasoning to the mix here. The secret is to keep it covered, let that moisture in all the veggies, release all those, uh, all that water so it kind of steams itself while it cooks. So I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit. And Mama Goose likes her tomatoes, but good thing it's her birthday. Tomatoes are delicious. Nasty. <laughs> I'm cautious to put the tomatoes on too soon because they will cook really quick. Yeah. No, add them because they'll they'll um flavor the everything. Mama Goose says they're add flavor to the everything. So okay, yeah. we'll add them now. The longer they cook, the better. They're like roasted almost. All right, so we're gonna mix those tomatoes in here. And again, just gonna let it all sit here and steam and fry at the same time. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the tails off of all the shrimp because I don't really wanna have to worry about it while I'm eating. Go ahead and put the veggies, dear, in this bowl and put one of the stainless steel plates on top of it to kind of keep it warm. Because next we're going to cook the shrimp and then the sausage. Alright, Hello. Peace. Soon. Now what we're going to do is just put the shrimp on, cook it up. It should cook up pretty quick. And then we'll put the sausages on. Who wants to cut up the sausages? I will. All right, I got my sous chef here, Isabella. She's gonna cut up the sausages. All right, so we're just cutting up the, uh, hey, don't cut yourself, dear. What are you doing? The blade should be pointing the other way. Oh my gosh, Isabella. Who raised these kids? And this little magnet holder, I get a lot of comments on my videos where I got it from and 
It was actually from Home Depot, but um, I found something very similar on my Amazon store that you can go to and find something that will work for your Tembo Tusk. Uh, if you go to my website, 395JNKY.com, and then click on the uh, shopping, you'll find the little Amazon store that's got a lot of the gear that we use that uh, you guys, if you're interested, you could uh, shop around and see if any of that stuff works for you. But that's a real great little feature that it's a magnet, sticks to the bottom of the scottle and keeps it out of the way. Oh boy, that shrimp smells good. And Sierra's over there sleeping like a little baby. All right, so shrimp's cooking. We're gonna add half the lemon right now, just to give it a little bit of that zest. All right, so the shrimp's just about done. Veggies are done. All we got left is cook up the sausage, which we're gonna throw on right now, because the shrimp is just about complete. Right. Moving on to the sausage. All right, so what we just added here is just your normal sausage you would get from the grocery store. And that's gonna go with the shrimp and all the veggies. We didn't really think it through. We should have brought a like a carbohydrate, like some rice or potato, but <laughs> we didn't do that. <laughs> no glucose. <laughs> oh, my dad's so stupid. <laughs> so almost done with the sausage. All right, so. Since the uh, sausage has already been pre-cooked, we're gonna go ahead and add everything else on here, which is all the veggies and the shrimp. We're gonna let that get nice and hot. Almost forgot the uh, parsley here. There we go. Add a little bit more base seasoning and the corn. All right, so we're gonna serve this up and eat and we will meet you guys over at the campfire in just a little bit. All right guys, so it is bedtime, but it's about 11 o'clock, had a really good time, uh, sat by the fire for quite some time. You guys saw that amazing dinner that we made, and then we just uh, hung out, and now it is time to go to bed in this giant, like, 10-person tent. We'll see how well it does tonight, uh, keeping everybody warm, but sleeping arrangements is I'm on a little twin here. And Mr. Buddy Heater. And three girls are gonna fit down there on that bed. Sideways, with our feet hanging off the edge. And then of course there's Sierra. She's got the best spot. Her own bed, right in front of the fire. Heater. Fire. Heater. Heater. Technically it's both, because there's a little oh fire. Oh, you gosh. shy. <laughs> Bree's right. I'm not entirely wrong, so. All right, guys, we will see you in the morning, and tomorrow morning's breakfast is bacon, eggs, and cheese, and a burrito, and hash browns, so.
All right, good morning. It's 33 degrees outside right now. Uh, it's a little chilly. Not compared to Oregon, but you know, sleeping in that other tent, that Mr. Heater just doesn't keep that heat in. Uh, well, the tent doesn't keep the heat in like the rooftop tent does. So we had Mr. Buddy Heater, the big buddy. Uh, that's the largest of them that I have. We had it cranked on high all night and it still barely kept it, uh, you know, somewhat comfortable in there. Got up this morning a little while ago, uh, putting my contacts in and Sierra was a good distance away just kind of sniffing around and she posted up and just stayed still for uh, like a minute or two and I was wondering what she was doing and uh, as I got one contact in all I heard was a bunch of hoofs running and uh, she was chasing after a couple of these uh, uh, I think they're mountain goats or longhorn sheep or something uh, it was a little mama and a baby but we we're seeing them last night up in the hills and this morning they're down here on the desert floor so that was kind of cool uh, I had to go run after her and chase her and of course they make a run for climbing the cliff and Sarah gets uh thinks she can do it and until I had to really put the brakes on her and give her a nice firm no she turned around and was like oh boy but uh gonna have a leisurely morning this morning I'm gonna get some coffee on right now uh today's breakfast on the tembo tusk we'll do some bacon burritos for these gals and slowly start getting everything together and uh, maybe do a little wheeling on the way out of here. So let's go make some coffee. Alright, so we're just going to get the coffee poured, and then we're going to get the bacon on, start making some breakfast burritos, and there your coffee's ready. Alright, so let's get this bacon cut up into bite-sized pieces for our burritos. Smell the aroma of bacon all day. You can't get a shower. You get a bacon scented shower. All right, bacon's just about done, so we'll move that to the side and Alright, so we got the hash browns all cooked. Now we're just going to do uh, cook the eggs. Bacon's already cooked. We'll be eating in no time. And once the eggs get a little bit more cooked, I'll add the bacon back on there and mix it in with the eggs. Warm everything back up. drop them. You need to put it in carefully because if you keep doing it like that, it's going to fall. All the hash browns. Well, cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm spilling. That was a bee. Good, but I wanted mine to look like that. <laughs> I bet. All right, so uh, breakfast is served. Isabella got breakfast in bed. She got breakfast in tent. But still her bed. We had to get this fire going because it was so cold, and it feels great. But we're just gonna finish eating our breakfast, 
and slowly get camp together. I don't think any of us are in any rush. And then we're going to do a little bit of uh, wheeling on the way out of here. So we'll catch up with you guys uh, as soon as we hit the trail. All right. So, guys, this is Billy with Rocklander Project, right? Yes, sir. And you can find him on Instagram. He does all kinds of crazy adventures with his uh, daughter and son somewhere around here who are uh, always his co-pilots that do an amazing job. And I wanted to show you guys their tent because I was super envious yesterday when they were setting this thing up within minutes. Uh, this is the Gazelle, what is this, the T3? T3, yeah. So this is the smaller of them, but I thought I'd uh, film it while they take it apart so you guys can see just how quick it is. And uh, maybe you'd be interested in getting something yourself. So let her rip, Billy. Wow. And just like that. Wow, that was fast, Billy. That was fast. Yeah. Is Done. It? Then just shove it in, it in the bag, bag and Find some place in here. Billy's rocking the ARB fridge. It's got the Yeti 1000. JL snorkel running on uh, 37 Falcon Wild Peaks. And this guy has put this Jeep through the paces. If you want to go check out his Instagram, he uh, he's not afraid of uh, seeing what the capabilities of this thing are. Beautiful, and he's got the Rome boxes on top of the uh, Rhino Rack backbone system. Very nice. All right, and we are ourselves getting uh, just about wrapped up. The girls just need to take the tent down. The birthday girl. Oh, wait, is he still your birthday? Yes, it's my birthday month. <laughs> birthday month. And then there's this one. What are you doing? You trying to knock down my camera now? Alright, so we are on the road, 11.30, should be home by 1, fun little overnight birthday trip for Mama Goose. Uh, it was nice to meet up with Billy uh, and his kids, went camping with them back in May or June uh, up at Menachee Meadows, and really, really good family. Brianna here, she's my co-editor of all my videos. Uh, but we still have to finish up part two Oregon, which should get released this coming Thursday. And then this video will be with you guys later.
appreciate your guys' support. I appreciate all the kind words I get on videos like this. Uh, we really have a good time uh, filming them and putting it all together for you. So, without further ado, you have anything to say, dear? I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, she has nothing to say. So, uh, hopefully, everybody's off to a good night. Hopefully everybody's off to a good night. So, <laughs> hopefully everybody's off to a good. Everybody, uh, I hope, is off to a good new year, and uh, we will see you down the road. And happy trails.